What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. Or catch us out online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And it looks like we've had the first snag on the Mars Orbiter mission from India. Um, if you've been watching the channel, you know what's going on. The uh, Basically, the first launch um, in November put it into the near-Earth orbit, which then it's been, it needed five, basically, thrust, they're going to hit the burners five times to raise it up a little bit, raise it up a little bit more, raise it up a little bit more, and the fifth time, it'll be in perfect position in order to swing it around. Well, come the fourth one the other day, there was a, there was a, tr there was trouble. Something happened when the, uh, they went ahead and burned it. Um, a halt in the flow of the liquid engine of the India's Mars Orbiter mission on Monday slowed down the orbit raising operation. Now the ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, is saying that the it's still okay, um, and everything was saved. It's, the spacecraft were saved by the redundancy systems that were on board. When the both primary and redundant coils were energized together as one of the planned modes, the flow to the liquid engine stopped. The thrust level augmentation logic, as expected, came in, and the operation continued using the altitude control thrusters. Um, this sequence resulted in the reduction of incremental velocity. So, they're basically saying they're going to have to burn it one more time, an extra burn, to get it up to where it needs to be, and then it's not going to cause any issues, they're still going to be headed December 1st towards Mars, and we are, once again, we're still hanging with you, good luck to you guys, we hope you get it out there, I've been, it's hard to get something to Mars, and I tell you what, I, for some reason I think that, uh, there's, there's only reasons that a couple of us have only made it out there, a lot of the rovers that even uh, Europe sent never made it, um, some were even suspicious, so, Anyway, keep going. Next, we've got Comet Ison is now officially, you can see it with binoculars, space.com. Incoming Comet Ison now visible in binoculars. So check that out right there, Comet Ison. Um, the intriguing Comet Ison, the Comet of Century, the speculation. Every year there's speculation on something. It's the new Doomsday Comet or the electrical power outage comet, whatever you want to call it. I call it the nothing's going to happen comet, except there's going to be a nice show in the sky or nothing at all is going to happen. Um, so basically, most people are now, you can go ahead, I've made my first confirmed binocular sighting of C-2012 S-1 Ison as well. Pete, Pete Lawrence of the town of Cissé in the United Kingdom told the website spaceweather.com, Ison's head appears to be small and stellar through a pair of 15 by 70 optics. So that's really all you need to get it. Um, binoculars, a decent telescope right now. I've been getting it on my telescope. I go out basically at 4 a.m. in the morning on a good day. Um, and you, you can see it for a good hour or two before the sun comes up. So check that out if you got a chance, especially with, if you get some binoculars. There's a couple websites out there that, you know, this link will be below. And space.com has a couple good articles to tell you what to get when you're out there. Um, so once again, satellite falling to Earth. Yet another satellite. Satellite will fall to Earth, but where? A European satellite that ran out of fuel will start falling in the next few days. And fragments of the disintegrating 2,000-pound spacecraft are expected to strike the Earth's surface. Oh, great. Yet again. Nobody knows where or when the fragments will hit, but the European Space Agency has said that the parts are likely to fall on the ocean or unpopulated areas. And if you look over the Earth and look down at it, most of it is unpopulated ocean, so that would be the case most likely. Potential spots will be narrowed down closer to re-entry, ESA says on its website. Once again, this is going to be linked, and as all my articles are always linked, just like all the anomaly pictures are always linked, uh, Re-entry probably will occur Saturday or Monday, or Sunday or Monday. Um, the mission manager told the Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Explorer, better known as GOCE. GOCE was launched in 2009 to map variations in the Earth's gravity in 3D, provide ocean circulation patterns, and make other measurements. ESA's website said the satellite became its first semester the seismometer in orbit in March 2011 when it detected sound waves from the earthquake destruct Japan. Um, GOCE was expected to fall much earlier, but fuel consumption was less than expected in August, and the satellite's altitude was lowered to about 139 miles, lowest of any research satellite, to improve the accuracy of the information being gathered. Um, it ran out of fuel October 21st. Um, on November 4th, the website said that the satellite was orbiting Earth at 119 miles and the rate of descent would increase significantly in the coming days. Yeah, so if the satellites don't have fuel to keep pushing them back up, you know, everything keeps sucking them towards the Earth. That's what's going to happen. So let's see. We got ISON. We've got at the India Mars Orbiter mission. Come on, guys. Get that thing rocking and rolling. Hopefully, you've got enough fuel to still make it to where you need to be with December 1st. So you can swing that thing on around and head to Mars. And once again, we've got the uh, this satellite. We'll be watching for this. Come this. Let's see. This will be this weekend, right? Coming up, say, Sunday or Monday. So we'll be looking for it. Um, 
as, as I guess as early as this week. So we'll see. It could have been coming down today. Hopefully it didn't hit you. It didn't hit me. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Take it easy. I'll be talking to you guys soon.